a lot of people say, what are Claire's? I don't get it. What, what are Claire's? <laughs> it's just a label that we can use to describe the abilities that we have that we haven't been taught. <laughs> and um, the gifts that we have, right? The Claire's. So we have um, four main Claire's, but there are several others as well. And um, you guys can help me in the comments remembering all of the others. I know that there's a Claire for smelling, uh, being able to pick up on scent, uh, smelling energy. Um, there's uh, different Claire's other than the main four, but the main four is what we're going to talk about today, okay? If we look at the four, mm -hmm. we need the practice. Ho, ho, do we ever. That's why my mediumship courses are two weeks long, the first one, because I want enough time for practice, everybody to practice as much as possible. <clears throat> okay, so if we look at the four main clairs, okay, um, we have clairvoyance for clear seeing, uh, clairaudience for clear hearing, clair sentience for clear feeling, and then we have claircognizance for clear knowing. What are the two main clairs that most of the people on planet Earth use out of the four? Anybody have any ideas and want to type the answer to that? What are the main two? Do people use clairaudience the most? Clairsentience? I totally agree. I would totally go with claircognizance and I would totally go with clairsentience. Knowing and sensing, absolutely. Uh, none of this is taught in school. Uh, in fact, any of this is uh, maybe not of interest or even people may not even believe, <laughs> okay? But this is something that we can get really good at and practice often. So how do we get really good at something? We're going to have to take classes, courses, join groups where there's constant practice and ongoing practice with many different people all the time, friends, family, pulling Oracle cards for them. Uh, why do you think that Oracle cards or angel cards might be a good idea when developing our abilities? Anybody have any ideas about that? Why, why would I suggest Oracle cards or angel cards. Well, and it's not just me, obviously. Obviously, the angels had an input in those cards too. So I would say, why would the angels recommend uh, oracle cards, angel cards, if you want to call them that? Why would one use oracle cards? Judy, time to get down to your local metaphysical shop. Even your bookstore will have them. Crystal shops have them. Amazon has them, eBay has them, Barnes & Noble has them. Barnes & Noble has a great selection and great prices. Okay, helps out intuition and learning to feel the energy. Totally agree. Every time you pull out that deck of cards, they're so beautiful, so high vibrational. And then you're, at, you're literally asking your team to come and communicate through you, through the cards. So you get really good at feeling their frequency. Also, when they come and they operate through you to use the cards, they're opening your chakras, they're opening your channels. Mm -hmm. Working with your guides and your angels. <laughs> You're welcome, Judy. They help me to tell a story. Oh, I totally agree. Like in the beginning, um, you have questions and you're uncertain about certain things. You can ask a specific question or you can just see what they like to say through the cards. But what's really fascinating is how they choose a card uh, here and they line it up and it tells a total story with card after card. Sometimes they'll have you move to the left, sometimes to move to the right. How do you know when you're to move to the left or right over the cards? With the cards being here and your hand just hovering above the cards, waiting for them to guide your finger down to the cards, or you may feel like you're looking at a card or there's energy pulling towards the card. You might get heat, tingling, warmth. So see if that resonates with you. Everything I relay 
anything you hear from me, anything you hear from anyone at any time, anywhere, any place, including your own thoughts that pop up in your head, you're going to sit back and see if it resonates with you. Do I really want to continue having these thoughts? Do these thoughts feel good? Does my, my repeated pity party for one feel good on a daily basis? Or this video I'm watching on YouTube resonate with me anymore? And it's interesting as we evolve and grow over time, the, the content that we once watched that we were so into, we're not into as much because we have just evolved past that or we've moved on a different track and it's just not a vibrational match. Just like being around certain people um, are no longer a vibrational match either, right? Okay. So that